I'm not sure exactly how much I like this because you're facing a Zerg opponent, so Zerg are fa fast, so they're just going to go da -da 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 Lings, oh Lings in the back of your base! And these two bunkers will do jack all. However, with a frontal attack, this makes it very, very difficult. We do now see the typical factory scout. Um, did he lay down a starport? Yes, he did. So we're just going to see Marine Marauder Medivac, I think. Uh, so I think. No, what's he doing? Has he laid down a bailing nest yet? No, Retron. Retron's a good start. Pardon me while I just get a drink. Um, a rich warren's a good start. I mean, if someone's pumping lots of marauders, banelings aren't such a good idea, but given this guy has three reactors, you're going to be seeing a lot of marines. Now, I'm just going to pause for a second and compare the two scouting informations. Now, Decrypt can pretty much see everything. He knows everything his opponent's done, which is a good position to be in. I'm not sure if he clicked on the Roach Warren, so he might not know what that is. Uh, from size it could be an evolution chamber, although probably not because he's already got one. It is possible to get two, but it doesn't happen all that often. It could be a Roach Warren, or it could be a Bailing Nest. Nobody knows. Now, two, we can see that he knows he has at least two barracks, and maybe three if he clicked on it, but he is still running a bit blind because he doesn't know about the expansion, and he doesn't know about the three reactors and the fourth barracks. Hmm. Pardon me guys, I just got a text and I just read it. Okay, so yeah, three three reactors on three barracks. Now, if he saw this and didn't go bendings, that's a bit stupid. Um, Stupid is a bad word. You don't need to go banelings, but it's highly advisable. Some people don't like banelings because they're suicide units and fairly high maintenance in the micros perspective. Uh, has any upgrades going down? No, he's just done stim. This kind of surprised me because normally combat shield and concussive shell are fairly good ideas. I mean, and you're trying to leave it that many marines. So let's see, he's got like 18 marines. You get that's 180 extra life. That's the equivalent of currently like four more marines in HP. Um, but each their own. Now we do see a medevac coming out, which is where it's going to start getting interesting. Because if decrypt starts running some, if decrypt starts running some, starts running some drop micro, he could start levering some very nasty play. Oh, what was that? I completely missed the hydro this then. That was my bad. Hydra is like good. I like Hydra's high damage but extremely squishy. However, this guy does not seem to be going anywhere near tanks or anything splash damage ish, so I've got no problem with it. Um, Hydra's uh, lings and roaches, this is going to be a very potent army. However, he has just scanned the Hydralisk den and is he going to react to it? Now, if this was a pro, he'd be going, ah, Hellions or something. I don't know. But um, this isn't a pro, so let's see what he does. It could be quite educational. We can see an engineering bay has gone up, but we cannot see level 1 weapons yet, and kind of rush going for level 1 missiles, and the extra range, and is that the speed one? Hold on. Da, 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 da. Increases the movement speed of roaches. Okay, so you're going to have speedy Gonzalez roaches. Uh, though no creep spread so far, which is quite interesting, because hydras are slow as crap. Of creep. Now, if we look at the income wise, we can see that Connor Zerg is doing amazingly. We can see he's sitting at 2, 3, 1. So it's, it's basically a 2 to 1 ratio on both gas and vest being. So at this point, I'm kind of thinking to myself, there's no way you can lose. You are Zerg, you are on 4 base, you are unstoppable, and this guy is just dead. But we'll see what happens. Who knows? Production wise, uh, we can see movement speed. No wait, is that the pickup one? I don't know, let's figure it out. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Where is it? Where's this upgrade going now? Okay, so it's the speed upgrades for overlords, which isn't a bad idea, it just makes marines harder to snipe your overlords and stuff, and if there was some viking play involved. Now this is gonna be... this is... no, army. This is getting to be quite a intimidating and powerful force, however, going head to head with this is going to be fun. Both people have about the same size army at the moment, and with the five medivacs, I think Terran 
pardon me, Terran could lever an advantage with this. However, the upgrade which uh, the Hydras and Roaches now possess, I think will allow him to leverage some better play over his army now getting caught out of position half and, well, more like a tinsy billion and a half. Now that, to me, was a bit of a wasted stim because it's going to take him a while to heal up. You're going to waste a lot of your energy and here comes the big engagement. This is where you would want to stim. And this expansion, I think, is going to go largely untouched over the course of the year. Thing. Uh, but as you can see, this army is melting. However, being a Zerg, you can produce a lot of units rather quickly. But this army is, both armies are suffering quite heavy losses. But if you can see the reinforcements coming in in quite alarmingly nice, yeah, terrifying numbers, to be honest. And the reinforcements for Terran consist of, uh, they don't exist. Uh, so, Connor Rush is going to take the day with this. and being out of sight. One video back, yeah, that's not bad, but mostly it's the ground army which just went poof, goodbye, so long, farewell, for very little lost. True, he did lose quite a large army, which was worth more minerals, but as we uh, discovered earlier, he's at a 2 to 1 ratio of minerals. Uh, however, this expansion is going to come into some difficulty if he can't get his army over here right quick. This expansion could be in trouble, and this is going to take not a large dent, but a considerable dent in uh, his econ. We do now see six Zerg, six Roaches being produced, and quite a lot of Roaches and Hydras coming along. This army is swelling quite rapidly, and rap rapidly, and I think we can safely assume that this expansion will be saved, however, it will be close given that he's on 68 feet. Personally, if I was a Terran, I would have stuck around and killed it but that's just me. Maybe it was better for him to run away, however, he did lose all of his forces because they were in a medevac which got killed. We can now see Connor Zerg pushing forward with a force which I can only assume is going to be a GG force. Yeah, that's how it works. He just got his butt kicked, basically. Uh, Post-game, um, Decrepit did lots of good things. It was an interesting strat. He didn't play it to its full extent. I do think he should have got Marine and Concussive. Um, they kind of seem like no-brainers to me, but who knows. Uh, uh, for Roach Hydra play, he did all the right things. He got the range upgrade. He got the arm upgrade. Well, the arm upgrade was still on its way. No, he actually finished first armor. He was getting second armor. He was going Hive Tech, so probably going to chuck some hyperlings or ultras in there and yeah he did all the right things he just levered a massive economy advantage over a Terran this is Keno DVT signing off hopefully you like my new mic have a GG